Alex and I'm back with another YouTube video now this one is something that I get asked a whole lot and I haven't really been able to answer this question for 14 years because how do you actually answer the question 100% when you've never thought about it people ask me what type of girl do I like uh, see at 34 years old I'm probably gonna say What's that old saying? I don't want to be rude and disrespectful. I want to say I like all types of women. So the name of this YouTube video is going to be called um, Sex Game. I like all women, okay? When I say all, I'm talking about different sizes and shapes. I don't discriminate. See, the thing people need to understand is I don't discriminate on women with tattoos, body piercings, I look at the characteristics of the person. I look at the personality. I look at if the person um, has good characteristics, good characteristics, good personality. I look at that. I don't look at, you know, other stuff like most men. So the name of the video is called Sex Game. I like all kind of hot women. I like tall women, okay? So it don't matter if it's a white woman, a black woman, a sexy Latina, mamacita. If she's 5 foot 10, I don't have a problem with it. If she's between 6 feet to 6 foot 4, I'm not intimidated like most men. There are some men that do not like tall women. I, on the other hand, I actually like tall women. I actually got hit on by a lot of tall women when I was in high school. At that time, I was very young, very immature, very goofy, very clumsy, and... At that time, I was intimidated because I didn't know how to handle getting attention from women of that of that height. And then when I got into college, it was the complete opposite. It didn't bother me if the girl was five foot ten, five foot eleven, um, six feet. I've been hit on by some girls six foot two, six foot three. So I don't I, I don't discriminate against tall white women, tall black women. When I go to the golf club. A lot of the girls that I'd be dancing with be between five foot eleven to six foot two, and it doesn't bother me. So yeah, so if tall women be like, do I like tall women? I do like tall, sexy, hot white women. I do like tall, sexy, hot black women. So I don't want no one to be thinking I discriminate. That's tall women, but I also like short women. Oh yeah, I don't want no short women to be like, what about us short girls? Usually, usually every. So often, I always get girls that are short, and the reason why I like sh girls that are short is because they're very fun and very playful. You know, they're unpredictable. They ha they like a they like to have a lot of fun. You know, the girl that I was crushing on at Top Shop Top Man was short, and that was the reasons why I found her very physically sexually attractive because she's short. So I do like short girls. Oh yeah, I would probably say nine out of ten times. I always crush on the short girls and then the tall girls. The reason why I say tall girls is because I don't want women that are tall to think, oh, he just like all the short girls. What about tall women? I like tall women. I like short women. Now, is short women my preference? I'm going to say yes. Short women is my first preference. I have like at least four um, preference. So don't be acting like it's the end of the world and all that other shit. My first preference is... I like short women, so it don't matter if it's a short black girl, short white girl, short mamacita Latina, it could be a short Asian girl, that's not my number one pr um, preference. If for some reason I took a woman out to lunch and dinner and it wasn't a short girl or the short girl was not available, then my second preference, of course, would be a tall athletic girl. If it's a tall white girl that's in athletic shape, that's my second preference. If the black girl's tall, again, that is my second preference, okay? So I don't want no one to be thinking, oh, oh he, 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 don't, he don't like uh, tall women. I like short women. I like tall women. I also like, um, I also like golf women. So that would probably be my third preference. Um, number three would be golf girls. Because they do poetry, they like art, they're unpredictable. Um, they don't do the same thing twice. And I don't discriminate against a golf girl. Now, I don't care if the golf girl is black, white, Latina, Asian. I like golf women, okay? If it wasn't for golf women, 
um, in the golf subculture. I would never have been trying to go to Bar Sinister in Hollywood, California. It's because of them that I learned the golf subculture. You know, that made me want to have more respect for, for people of golf, golf women, golf men. You know, I like the heavy metal music, the alternative music. And basically, I like to have fun. And golf girls are all about having fun. You know, they don't focus on, you know, my homework or work. They just like to have fun, you know. And they're good at teaching you your social skills. Like, they really are. And they're not afraid to tell you to your face if you've done something right or if you fucked up. So that's why I like the golf girls. My fourth preference is a rock chick. Again, this goes back to the girl at Top Shop Top Man that I crushed on real hard. She wear them rock shirts, and I like white I like white girls, Latino girls, who are into rock music. I like black girls that are into rock music. So if people be like, oh, he just like them sexy Latinas and white girls because they're in that loud, heavy metal music. I also like black girls that are into rock, you know. So, yeah, it ain't just sexy Latinas and white girls that are into rock. That would be my fourth preference. And then, for some reason, if those four are not available, if those four are not available at all, like, let's say I take a woman out to lunch and dinner, and let's say my first preference is a short girl, but she's not, but, but there are no short girls available. And let's say my second preference is I like tall women, but they're not available. And let's say I say I like golf girls, but they're not available. And let's say the rock chick is not available, or golf girls are not available. So, golf girl would be number three. The punk rock chick or rock chick would be at number four. Then there's BBWs. Oh, yes. I've been hit on by a lot of BBW women. And again, I don't discriminate. She could be a sexy, hot, curvy BBW white woman. She could be a sexy, hot, curvy BBW Latina woman. She could even be a sexy, hot, black, curvy BBW woman. Again, I don't discriminate. They could be young. They could be old. So I like them on all sizes and shapes. Those are my four preference. You know, everybody has a preference. Most black men say my preference right off the back is a white girl. With me, it's a little bit more different. It ain't just, oh, it's a white girl. It's, is the white girl tall or short? Is the black girl tall or short? So I have preference. Um, and like I said, I don't have a problem with a girl having tattoos and body piercings. You know, I don't have a problem with that. If they're into heavy metal or rock music, I don't have a problem with it. So not everybody listens to the same um, type of music. If the girls go to the gym and work out and they're in athletic shape, that's probably why I like the tall girls. The short girls, I like them because they're very playful and they're unpredictable and they know how to have fun. And I did make a YouTube video like about two years ago that made some women angry a long, long time ago. But this video was to answer that question. Yes, the title of the video is called Sex Game. I like all hot women. So when I put, like The Rock says, it doesn't matter. It's to let you know that it don't matter if you're tall, if you're short, if you're golf, if you're a rock chick, or if you're a BBW or young or old, black or white. It doesn't matter. I find all types of women very physically, sexually attractive. The tattoos, the body piercings, I don't look at your tattoos and your body piercings. So if you got three tattoos, you got five tattoos, I don't look at that. You got some piercings, I don't look at that. I look at your personality, I look at your characteristics. Do you have respect for yourself? Do you have respect for other people? That's what I look at. Do we have a good connection or we don't have a good connection? Are we vibing or we're not vibing? That's what I look at. So, basically, that's why I made this video, to answer that question. The reason why I would never answer it for, like, almost 14 years is because I did not know how to explain to people what is my type. Like, when you see me have fun with any girl that's short, that's why that's number one. See, most, most men's preference is she's got to be a black girl or a white girl mine's is short number one is short number two is she tall so I, I don't discriminate you could be tall you could be short like I said curvy bbw a golf girl a punk rock chick um those are my preference but I don't discriminate so if you got three tattoos five tattoos 
I don't discriminate. You got piercings, I don't discriminate. You're into different types of music, you play different sports, I don't discriminate. You know, most black guys be thinking everybody's got to listen to hip hop and rap music. That's not me. That's not how I roll. If you're into heavy metal and rock music, then that's your personality. I'm not going to change it. Um, that's something that I learned in high school and in college. You find somebody that's good, it shouldn't matter if that person's got tattoos or body piercings or not. Some men like women with tattoos and body piercings, and some men do not. I actually find women very physically, sexually attractive with some tattoos and body piercings. Some men do not. I don't look at the tattoos and the body piercings and then, you know, discriminate. I, I look at your personality, your characteristics, and what kind of woman are you. It's the same thing if somebody put me in the hot seat and they asked me about my personality and my character um, traits. We all are human. We all have our likes and our dislikes, and we all have our preference. Some people understand them. Some people don't understand them. But this video is, again, to address something that I've never made into a video. And that is, I like all types of women of all different sizes and shapes and colors and ages. So it don't matter if you're young or old, black or white or Latina, tall or short. It's just me expressing how I feel in the video. So if you like the video, you like the video. If you don't, you don't. It's just the end of the day. You know, today's Thursday. Um, you probably won't get no video for two days. You probably won't get no video Friday. And you probably won't get a video on Saturday. So maybe Sunday night or going into Monday, you might get a video. Two days off. I don't want to drive you guys crazy. Because when I make too many YouTube videos, I, can, I can't keep... <laughs> I actually cannot keep track of how many videos I make. So I might not make no videos for at least two days. And then Sunday I have to make that one video that I have no choice but to make. I might make it tonight. I could change my mind. It all, it all depends on how I feel. I could change it because it's a video saying thank you to a person that helped me learn how to talk socially. I've already mentioned her like in three videos. And you know the rules. I can't mention nobody's first and last name because I don't want to be taken um, to court. So, all right. Just wanted to say, you know, this video and till next time, peace.